Tonight, with a follow-up to a story we first broke yesterday on Fox 10 News. Today, deputies returned to collect more skeletal remains that were found in the Theodore Dawes area. Deputies were combing through their open missing person cases as scientists worked to try to identify those remains. We have both angles covered for you tonight. Fox News reporter Andrew Perez begins our team coverage. Andrew? Yeah, Bob Lanise, Mobile County actually has several open missing persons cases, some of which we've aired here on Fox 10 News. Sheriff Sam Cochran says it's impossible to identify these remains without proper testing, but he says it's all about process of elimination. Investigators say they've now processed the scene, this illegal dump site off Depp Busby Road, where human remains were found late yesterday. Investigators returned in the daylight to recover what more they could. They don't have a complete skeleton, but officials say it's enough to move forward. I mean, the skull was, was pretty much intact. Uh, the, the teeth appear to be in, in good conditions. Now begins the tough task of identifying the remains. In recent months, we've seen search crews combing through wooded areas and detectives making their rounds for missing persons. Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran says investigators are now pulling those open missing persons files to try to find a match. Just in Mobile County alone, we've got uh, five people that we know are missing, and we'll look at all of those five people. And then once we look at those, we, we of course, would look at the surrounding counties. In the files are things like dental records, DNA, and very detailed physical descriptions. These readily come to mind that are the most immediate missing are Garland Ford, uh, Jonathan Lyons, uh, Randall Parnell, uh, Michael Blue Watson, and Jeffrey Holloman. Then you have cases like Brittany Wood and Brittany Robinson, two young women who vanished from the county without a trace months ago. Cochran says the bones discovered off Depp Busby Road were smaller in size and were sent to the University of West Florida. He says he hopes to bring closure to a family in need. That's right. Now, officials say the fastest way to identify skeletal remains is through dental records. If that doesn't work, they'll move on to DNA testing. Bob? And as you heard, those human remains are some.